As agents and co-pilots' capabilities have grown, so has the need to manage what's being done, by whom, and where. We've expanded the tools for controlling the data and access you need. For starters, a new Copilot dashboard has been added to the Insights panel in Enterprises. From a glance, we can quickly see the number of active users in the current calendar month. The top bar also provides the percentage of developers using agent mode in chat and the most popular model. Scrolling down, we have detailed information about how users are interacting with Copilot. We can explore charts highlighting the acceptance rates for code completions, chat modes in use, and the various models. As always, you can utilize the APIs for additional details. Turning our attention to access control, we can now create custom roles at the enterprise level. We can even assign permissions to this role to either view or modify Copilot settings for the enterprise. Any member of this role would now have those permissions. To aid in managing Copilot itself, you have access to a control panel. On the landing page, we see the list of all agents which are currently working or most recently completed across our entire enterprise. Returning back to the control panel, we also notice the two primary agents available to us, Coding Agent and Code Review. From here, we can choose to enable or disable these features across the entire enterprise or to allow organizations to decide for themselves. GitHub recently introduced custom agents, markdown files to create agents for more powerful, specialized tasks. Custom agents can be defined on an organization level in its .githubs private repo. Through the control panel, you can also select which organization's custom agents will be available throughout the entire enterprise. Now, custom agents will typically be defined by more experienced developers or those specialized in AI. The control panel displays the push rule set impacting enterprise level agent files. We can create or modify these rule sets. In this case, granting access to that AI admin's enterprise role we created earlier. Now, as we all know, it's not just about being able to control what happens and where, but demonstrating that it did happen, and by whom, and when. Updated audit logs provide exactly that information. Opening the audit logs for this enterprise from this control panel, a filter is automatically applied, limiting the view to logs with an actor of Copilot. Any task performed by Copilot will have such an actor property. Expanding the details of a creation action, we notice how Copilot is listed as the actor, and the property indicating the action was performed by an AI agent. Additionally, the user field indicates the person who requested Copilot's work. This allows you to see who's done what, where and how, and demonstrate the activities which have taken place in your repositories. One of the most impactful enhancements for AI agents is Model Context Protocol, or MCP, which opens up new capabilities and potentially new security concerns. The control panel allows you to specify an MCP registry which will allow your developers to quickly find the MCP servers to utilize. You can even then specify whether or not you want to allow developers to use MCP servers at all or only servers from that registry. As of right now, the settings for MCP servers and registries are only supported by VS Code. Copilot's feature set is ever expanding and so are the controls available to ensure the right people have the right tools and admins the right insights and controls on how those are being used.